Hi friends and welcome to the next yoga class. Uh, this is a specific class progressing up from the previous two, working on a little bit more mobility, uh, some repetitive reaching, some total body strength and mobility, and a little bit of balance. <clears throat> So as always, check in with yourself and move in ways that feel safe to you without forcing. I'll try to give you alternatives for positioning as we go. We're going to start standing on our mats in mountain pose today. But first, we'll just set kind of our feet and ground through the earth, making sure that our foot tripod is firmly attached to the mat. So that's the base of the big toe, the base of the little toe, and the heel. And those three points of contact provide us the best stability, support, and balance. So with your hands on your heart and your eyes open or closed, whatever works for you, just take a moment and set an intention for what you hope to receive or accomplish through this practice today, maybe what you are searching for to gain or to release. And then let's take a nice deep full breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Nice. We'll roll the shoulders up and back and down with the palms facing forward, reaching the fingertips actively for the floor. The crown of the head is reaching for the ceiling. The thighs are lifting the kneecaps up. And the butt muscles are squeezing the hips back. Mountain pose is a strong, grounded, anchoring pose. Let's take a couple more breaths here. Mm. Good. Let's inhale the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. On the next inhale, if you can, rise up on your toes on the way up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, reach up, rise up on your toes. <laughs> Not so easy, so if you're struggling, it's normal. You can see me struggle too. Nice. Let's relax here. Take the feet out a little bit. I'm going to reach the hands forward. Wave the hands up and down, loosening up the wrists. We're going to tuck the elbows back, squeezing the wings together, reaching the thumbs back, holding them across, loosening up and warming up our shoulders. Good. Let's reach forward, palms out, pull back, squeezing the wings, W arm position. Reach forward, reach back. Squeeze, reach forward, reach back, squeeze, and let's inhale the arms up, look up, exhale the arms down, beautiful, on the next inhale, we're going to lace the hands together, inhale reaching up, Lace the fingertips together, all except for the index finger. Ground through the feet. Let's be nice and tall. We inhale. We're going to lean over to your left. Breathing into the opposite rib cage. Inhale back up to tall. And then this time, exhale over to the right side. 
breathing into those rib spaces inhale up tall release the hands back down lace the fingertips behind your body press the knuckles to the floor reaching the shoulders away from the ears lift the chin Nice, nice full body stretch through the front. Release the hands, roll the shoulders out. Hands to the hips, roll some hip circles, loosening up those hip joints. Hip circles in the other direction. Being as playful and mobile as feels good to you today. Next, we're gonna walk those feet out a little bit, slide those hands down to the knees. Let's roll some circles with the knees. And there's many different movements that I've picked up over the years, movements that I think feel good, that clients have told me feel good. This isn't necessarily a yoga move, but it's a nice, Happy knees move. Wonderful. Back up to tall. Okay, I'm going to go to the front of my mat and we're going to warm up our forward fold position and our hinging at the hip, hip hinge, which is a nice kind of safe spine move. So, starting from this tall position, cutting myself in half through the hip joint. I'm going to draw my hips backward with a relatively straight spine and soft knees and then push through the floor and come back up. Now, if that feels okay to you, we're going to rest our hands on our thighs, draw the hips back, slide the hands down to the knees or just pass, push back up. Slide the hand down to the knees, push back up. Try to make sure your weight is even throughout your foot tripod. Sometimes we'll get a little stuck back on our heels. Wonderful. So now that we've warmed that up a little bit, we'll move on to chair pose. So inhale the arms up, and then we'll sit back and down just like we did with our hip hinge. Hips go back, keep the heart lifting, if this is too heavy on your arms, you may rest your hands to your heart or on your hips. Good. And stand, hands to heart. Good. Shake out those legs a little bit. Take a nice breath. Inhale the arms up. Reach the hips back, bending the knees. Lifting through the heart and the middle back, reaching through the fingertips. You may release your hands to heart center. That feels better. And then inhale to rise. Let's all reach up together. Exhale, hands to heart. Wonderful. Next, we'll move into a forward fold and monkey pose. So let the hands come down, rounding through the feet. Inhale to reach up. Exhale for your forward fold, reaching the hips back, reaching for the floor. You may use a block. Give yourself a little extra room if you need to. Reach down, release the head. Let your neck be relaxed. It's okay if you have your hands on your shins or your knees. That's just fine. Next, I want you to come up halfway with your hands on the top of your thighs and with a long spine so that you look like a number seven monkey pose. Building strength and endurance in the back body. Exhale back to your forward fold. Soften the knees generously. Push through the feet, rising up, reaching up. 
Exhale, hands to your heart. Take a breath. Release the hands. We'll inhale, reach up, do a little back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Rest for a breath here. Inhale, halfway for monkey pose, long spine, shoulders reaching back away from the ears, eyes are looking at the floor in front of your feet. Forward fold, bend the knees generously, press through the feet, rising up, reaching up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up, backward bend. Exhale, forward fold. Release the head. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, place the hands down on your mat, even if you need to bend your knees generously. We're going to step the left leg back and drop the knee. You can just hold this position for a second. Release the back foot. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, release the hands to heart center. You're going to reach forward with the hands. Windshield, wipe that arm back and down. Big circle with the left arm. Right arm is reaching forward. Hands to the front. We're going to bring those elbows back into W arms. Reaching forward on that front knee. Hands can come up high, reaching overhead. Exhale, pushing back, knee is over the ankle, hands come to the mat. Tuck the back toes, lift up into high lunge, step the feet together, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees generously. Inhale to rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're going to go to the other side of the mat. We will do the other side. Inhale, reaching up, little back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hands down, reach the left, or excuse me, right leg way back. Drop the right knee, release the right toes. Come up into a tall position. Hands can be at heart center. You may put a pad under the knee if the knee is uncomfortable. We're going to reach the hands forward. And we're going to wind the right shoulder back. And down, and forward, back, and down, forward, back, and down, forward. And you may find one side tighter than the other. If you want to tuck your back toe like I just did for a little bit better balance, that's okay. Do whatever feels good there. Reaching forward, coming back into W position, and reach, and open. Reach and open and reach up and back. Hands to the mat, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, step the feet forward, forward fold. Inhale halfway, exhale forward fold. Bend the knees generously to rise. 
Exhale, hands to heart center. Excellent. So coming back to the other side of the mat. For me, you can stay on the side of the mat that you're on. We'll inhale for a forward fold. Reaching up, bending over, stepping both feet back, dropping both knees, pushing back into child's pose, crawling the fingertips forward, resting the forehead to the mat if it feels good. Taking a breath here, coming up into tabletop position. With tabletop, we want the knees right under the hips, hands right under the shoulders, fingers spread, pressing through the pads of the fingers, belly button and pelvic floor lifting gently up and in, pushing the floor away. So this is relaxing between the shoulder blades. This is pushing the floor away. So we want to be actively pushing the floor away. Feet can be untucked and we'll go through some cat and cow. So tucking the tail under, chin to chest, rounding out the back. Sinking the belly, lifting the heart and the tail. If you can coordinate it, exhale into cat. Inhale into cow. If it works at your own pace, at your own rhythm. Take those knees a little bit wider apart, bring the big toes together, walk the hands forward, sit back into child's pose. Big breath in through the rib cage, breathing three dimensionally, ribs moving left and right, front and back, towards our head and towards our pelvis. Now let's take both hands and walk them off the left edge of the mat, curving to the left, creating more space in the right rib cage. And then walk the hands back to center and over to the right edge of the mat. This time creating space in the left rib cage. Walk the hands back to center and come back up onto your hands and knees. You're going to take the hands out wide, working a shoulder and chest stretch. So again, just go as far as feels safe and comfortable for you. I'm going to turn to my left and try to tap my right shoulder to the mat and come back up. Turn to the right and try to tap my left shoulder to the mat. And you may find one side is easier than the other, and that would not be a surprise. As you work through this, it should get easier and easier. Good. Last one, moving to the right. Excellent. Back into hands and knees position. Tuck the toes this time. We're going to rock back on our heels just a little bit, stretching the toes. I'd like you to place your left hand onto your ear and the back of your head. We'll bring the left elbow in towards the right forearm. And then rotate open on that left side. Left elbow to right forearm. And then press through the right hand and open up the chest to the left. One more. 
reach, reach, moving from the heart center. Release, let that go. Right hand coming on the right ear, rocking back, right elbow to left forearm, opening up through the mid body. Moving our middle back, our thoracic spine, moving through the chest and rib cage. All of this is very important for restoring healthy, normal mobility. Good, release. Place the hands back to the mat, back into tabletop position. We're going to place our left hand on our right shoulder, holding weight through that right arm. Release. Place the right hand on the left shoulder, building strength and stability in that left arm. Let's turn the fingers away from each other and rock. Gently side to side, loosening up the fingers, wrists, and forearms. Good. Relax. We'll return the fingers facing forward. Push firmly away from the mat. Extend the right arm long. And return. Extend the left arm long. Thumb reaching up. And return. Set that strong base. We're going to inhale the left leg out, pressing through the heel. Drop the toe to the mat. Lift the left leg up. Drop the toe to the mat. Lift the left leg up. Keeping that leg long and active. Hold. Let's bring the left knee back beside the right one. Reset that strong foundation through the mat. Inhale the right leg out, pressing through the heel. Drop the toe down to the mat. Lift back up. Down to the mat. Back up. Reach, squeezing through the glutes. Down to the mat. Lift back up. Bring that knee back down to center. Wonderful. Let's make our way around to our bottoms. The seated position. Take a breath right here. You can hang on to your legs, lifting your heart up. Feel free to use a blanket or a cushion under your bottom if you need to, if you need a little bit more height. For cushioning there. Okay, let's extend the arms out. Again, lifting the heart. Come down halfway and return. Halfway and return. Building a little front body stability, core strength. Final support. One more. Back. And return. All right. Now, as slowly as feels reasonable to you, arms out. Lower yourself all the way onto your back. Sweep those hands around out to the side. And if it's comfortable, lace your fingertips behind your head with the elbows out wide. We'll walk the feet as wide as the mat. If this is not comfortable, you may do arms out in T position or closer to your body with the arms extended. So this position, T position with the palms up or hands behind the head. That's the most intense position. Elbows out wide. We're going to rotate the knees, sway the knees to the left towards the floor, 
pressing the right knee down, tightening up the right glute muscle to get more of a stretch through the front of that thigh. You'll feel the right shoulder may want to lift up. Try to hold it back and down. And as we move back in the other direction, tune in and notice the sensation of your mat and your back, feeling that contact to the floor, rolling those knees over to the other side, being ever so aware of what you're feeling in your body. This time tightening the left glute muscle, pressing the front of the left hip forward. And then allow those knees to come back to center, releasing the head and the hands. Let's hug both knees into the chest. Just rocking gently side to side. Bring the feet down, the soles of the feet together. Allow the knees to spread open. You may use your hands to give a gentle stretch on your thighs here. You can rock a little bit side to side. Take a full breath in, if you've been holding. Use your hands and assist those knees back up. Let's pull the right knee in tight, give it a nice hug, and then press the right heel to the ceiling. And release. Let's pull left knee in, give it a nice hug, press the left heel to the ceiling, give it a release, inhale the right arm reaching all the way overhead, reaching the fingers for the wall, the other side of the room. And let that arm return to your side. Inhale the left arm up over your head. Reaching for the wall behind me. Keeping the ribs down. Sometimes when things are tight, we want to arch and the ridge will want to flare up. So we have to pull those ribs down and in and keep our back flat. We're getting all that motion through the shoulder. Relax that arm back down. Extend the legs long. Let the legs rest, maybe a little bit apart. Press the shoulders away from the ears with the palms up. Settling into your Shavasana position. This time that we take to integrate the movements that we've just done. Notice the sensations in our body and the state of our mind. And I would ask you to just close your eyes and take some breaths, slow, relaxed, normal breathing, and just pay attention to the movement of your breath, moving in, moving out, just being aware of any sensations that you feel in your body in this moment. Doing so with no judgment, a sense of curiosity, pure compassion. And take a moment to thank your body for its effort today, for showing up today and performing this practice.
when you're ready allow some movement into your joints and extremities roll onto your side and we'll come up into a sitting posture any sitting posture that is comfortable for you i thank you for sharing this practice with me today it is my honor to do this for you i hope those movement movements were um, comfortable and enjoyable for your body and helped you realize uh, some potential that you have to continue to heal uh, and restore function as normal as possible if you found this class beneficial please subscribe to my channel and like it and share it with others that may benefit all the best namaste